All right, how's it going, everybody? Zalonis here with an easy guide for Ascended Armor. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hey, you! Are you tired of being a weak little baby? Are you finding yourself needing that extra boost? Well, look no further. Here at Zalonis' discount surplus Ascended Armor pour in more. You can own your very own set for 10 easy payments of 50 gold. That's right. Bring the kids and get yourself some better gear. And maybe your family will actually respect you. Stop by today and the first 100 customers will get a, uh, 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 rock. Rocks. They'll get rocks. And if you pet them at night, they do nothing. But hey, they you got them for free. Stop by today. All right. So getting ascended armor is a lot easier than it might look. First, you need to decide what stats you want for your build. Using the Guild Wars 2 wiki page, you can see all the stats and the corresponding names. For example, Berserker's armor stats are Power, Precision, and Ferocity. So now we know we want Berserker armor, the thing to keep in mind here is that with Ascended armor, instead of a Berserker prefix, it'll be named after a main character in the game. So this means Berserker Armor is called Zoja Armor, and this goes for all stats. So now that we know what set we want, our next step is to go to Guild Wars 2 Efficiency. This site has many resources to help see what you have and what you need in regards to making anything. Make an account because this site is the best resource there is. Once you have an account, go to the API keys and put in your Guild Wars 2 API key. This is located here, on the Guild Wars 2 homepage. Once you have that, you can go to crafting, enter in the armor that you want, and see what you need to make it. If you have the API set up, you can see what you have already. On the top, you can set whether you want to instant buy, or put in a buy order for the materials you don't have. Next to that, you can select if you're going to buy all the materials or use your own materials. The last option is if you're going to craft the daily or buy them. These are the Lump of Mithrilium, Spool of Silk Weaving Thread, and the Spool of Thick Alonian Cord. After doing all that fun stuff, just gather the materials or buy what you need using the shopping list provided below. And follow the steps as to what to craft in order. Some things you will not be able to buy, like Bloodstone Dust, Imperial Fragments, and Dragonite Ore. Keep that in mind. On top of this, you need to know the recipes to make the Ascended Insignia and the Ascended Armor pieces, which can be purchased using Karma and Laurels from the Master Armorsmith for Heavy Armor, the Master Leather Worker for Medium Armor, and the Master Tailor for Light Armor. Alternatively, if you wanted a stat listed underneath Heart of Thorns or Path of Fire, you'll have to use the Guild Wars Wiki to find out who sells the recipe for what. In Heart of Thorns, you'll also need to collect Leyline Sparks, Pile of Auric Dust, and Bottles of Airship Oil, as these cannot be purchased. And that's pretty much it. Pick a stat. Make a shopping list. Get materials. Learn your recipes. Make everything. And profit. Once you're all done, you'll be able to kick ass and take names. Alright, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please let me know. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. See ya.